A throng of supporters greet Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner outside her home, when suddenly... An arm stretches out and points a gun directly in her face, but the pistol didn't fire. The suspect was quickly overpowered, and Argentina's vice president continued to face the crowd unfazed. It took some time before the true nature of the botched attack became clear. At first, I didn't know what was going on, but I heard the noise when he triggered the gun, not understanding that it was a gun until the security jumped on him. Christina didn't know either because she said, leave him alone. He just dropped something. But no, what he dropped was a gun. According to local media reports, the suspect is a 35-year-old Brazilian man who has lived in Argentina for two decades. The former president was returning home from court when the attack happened. One of the most polarising political figures in Argentina, she's on trial over corruption allegations, charges she denies. Protests both for and against her have frequently taken place. President Alberto Fernandez called the attempted shooting the most serious event in Argentina since its return to democracy. We can dissent, we can have profound disagreements, but there's absolutely no way that violence can coexist with democracy. The corruption trial has been going on for three years and could conclude in coming months. If convicted, Fernandez de Kirchner could face 12 years in prison and a lifetime ban on holding public office.